Yeah, so uh, particularly for for imaging, it has been well known that AI is playing a, an increasing role in supporting uh, the whole um, um, imaging ecosystem, uh, medical imaging, I mean. Uh, the way the, the, that has been grown, um, now there are so many uh, tools and products that are available in the market that can that have already gone through rigorous cycles of validation and, and assessment, including getting the FDA and the CE mark approvals. Um, so we use some of these tools actually, and being uh, since last year we've been uh, increasingly uh, uh, adding to our list of adoption. So we started using in chest X-rays. Now we added chest CTs. We're starting to use it in, in uh, detecting smaller fractures that might be lost or not well recognized by, by some uh, examiners. Um, and we started to use it also in cardiology to reflect on um, the uh, uh, functional flow reserve, which helps us uh, detecting the need to do or not to do an angiogram, which is very important to differentiate between those who do need or who do not need an angiogram. Uh, so these are all applications that we started using and we're seeing very good impact. So for example, the diagnostic ability to diagnose smaller lesions in chest X-rays is much, much better using the AI along with the uh, radiologist. So it, it attracts their attention to see where the small little pathology might be, the nodules, the uh, 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 other pathologies, where they can do further ex ex examination and assess this. Uh, it also reduces the time by generating the initial reports, which can be edited later by the radiologist. So it's both from a workflow and from a clinical diagnostic standpoint has been very, very helpful to us. And the journey is not stopping. We are adding uh, more and more modalities into this as we move.